diving is the most fabulous distraction you can experience. I am miserable out of the water. It is as though you have been introduced to heaven and then forced back to earth. Jack Cusa is an absolute legend and one of the biggest conservation heroes. I watched a, a documentary called Becoming Cousteau yesterday and I loved it. You should watch it. It's a, a documentary about Cousteau and you get to see all of his, most of his time doing wildlife stuff and saving the animals. He was a French military explorer, a filmmaker, scientist and photographer and conservationist. The author of many books, he was actually a spy, an underwater spy. A researcher who studied the sea and all the wildlife in the sea. He's a pioneer in marine conservation. And in fact, before him, very little was known about the sea. Cousteau is a huge hero in my family. He started as a military officer in Toulon, and that's where my relatives are from. When he was young, he had a terrible car accident, and that stopped him from what he wanted to do, which was he wanted to be a plane pilot. Someone suggested he should swim in the sea to recover from the accident. And this is where his love for swimming and the sea started. And went diving. But he wanted to dive deeper. So that's why he created the Aqualong. The Aqualong is an oxygen bottle device. In Dunar he started taking undersea photos and films. He created diving suits, diving watches, diving underwater cameras, and he named it the Calypso. It's funny because when you watch his programs, that was a long, 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 long time ago, um, you, you see that there's not as many fish anymore, anymore. But can't you believe it that there were seals in Toulon, and now they're gone? The Second World War started and it was terrible for Toulon because they surrendered. But Cousteau hated the war, so he joined the resistance. Laris is dawn. He was actually a spy, an underwater spy. After the war, Jack Cousteau went underwater and went recovering all of the sank the boats in, um, in the sea. He left the navy after that and built a ship to make more films. He bought La Calypso, his famous ship, and he redid it all in Toulon again and travelling the world with it. He teamed up with Louis Mao to make The Silent World, which was a film also made as a book and his documentaries won many, many, many awards like the Oscars and the Palme d'Or. He became very famous after that and he created the show The Undersea World of Jack Cousteau and the Cousteau Odyssey for more than 20 years. Plus he was also involved with the really weird project to where he could try and make you live under the sea. He realised that after the sea was being destroyed that he should stop keep humans away from the sea and that this was a, a very good idea. In the 90s he was invited to Brazil to participate in this like conservation conference. He raised the alarm on climate change and he was an absolute pioneer of marine conservation. He also introduced the beauty of the ocean and why we should protect it. He inspired millions of people who did not know what under the sea, as well as many filmmakers like Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson made a film called The Life Aquatic. And that's inspired by Jack Cousteau. 
And do you know the Beatles the band? Of course you do. Like so many people know, they made this yellow submarine. And that was also inspired by Jack Cousteau. He wrote more than 50 books and made more than 100 films. I think that actually everybody should know about Cousteau and I recommend buying Manfish. Not only because it's a really cool book, it's an aim to save animals and to get people to read it, to get encouraged to save our oceans. I'm going to read you a book called Manfish, only a tiny bit. A story of Jack Cousteau, that's what it says. After Jack spent, which is short for Jack Cusso, of course, spent most of his life making movies about the sea, he saw something happening, something shocking. Plants that used to be alive and healthy were being poisoned. Fish were sick and dying. Jack saw that people, without realising it, were slowly killing the sea and its creatures by dumping garbage and poisonous chemicals into the ocean he loved so much. Jack knew what he had to do. He had to make movies, movies to warn people, movies to save the sea. And Jack also spoke to presidents, the kings and queens, to all people all over the earth, asking them to help save our oceans, our planet. And he spoke to children. Jack's dream that someday it will be you exploring worlds never seen, never imagined, whole new worlds, silent and shimmering, worlds that are now yours, to discover, to care for and to love. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and hit that bell to be get notified whenever we upload a new video. Au revoir, au revoir, au revoir, au revoir. Okay, cut.